some people may wonder why they continue to fall into sin. Like why they continue to go in a roller coaster type of deal to where they repent, confess their sins, and fall into sin over and over and over again. They may believe they are doing what they know to do to try to be right with God. And that may be true if you don't know much about God. Okay, I think one of the most important things perhaps not the most important, but I believe one of the most important things is to either read your Bible much, go to church where there is, or if there is, solid, good teachings of the Bible. I believe you have to constantly be reading your Bible or listening to teachings about the Bible or be around somewhere where God is spoken about much. I think that is, okay, myself. I believe I love God. I believe I am willing to do what is right. But let me go without the Bible which I don't read the Bible that much, but let me go without teachings like for a whole month. Even though I have researched much about the Bible and stuff like that and teachings and stuff like that, as in, I guess that is research too, if you listen to teachings and stuff like that. Even though I did those things much, let me go a whole month without teachings in the Bible and stuff like that. I am telling you, I think that there will be a change in me. Look, if you aren't researching about the things of God, if you are not contemplating on the things of God, what are you contemplating? Pro probably the things of this world. So how can you, I guess I can say, if trouble comes your way and you are filling yourself with sports and what your mom did the other day and this problem and that problem and that problem. Let's say you are contemplating on those things mainly. When a problem comes, what are you going to do? I believe you are going to do what you contemplate on, right? Even though for 10 years straight you went to church and blah, 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 but now you are not really contemplating on things of God or researching or listening to teachings about God and stuff like that. So let's say that you are tuned in to the things of this world. So when there is a problem or whatever else, I believe you will go quicker to the things of the world than the things of God. So what I believe you should do is submerge yourself, I guess I can say, with teachings. Listen to teachings, man, listen to teachings or read your Bible so much that someone may think you have a problem. I am telling you, some people, I would say something, but that person may not like it, but let me say it in this way. If your job is taking up too much of your time, ask for less hours or you may have to find a different job. It doesn't matter how much money your job is paying you. If it is taking away your time from God, look, I don't think we have 
much time on this earth. Even if you live until you are 80, what is 80 compared to eternity? Me. Yes, I want money. <laughs> yes, but I don't think I will sacrifice my time from God to make some money. No. No. Well, I can't pray today because I have to go to work. Well, I can't listen to teachings or do things of God because I am so busy. Man, if that was me, I probably would cut some things out to where I have some time with God. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? My Lord. So let me stop here. So what I want you to focus on is listen to teachings as much as possible. I believe one of the reasons why we probably mess up as much as we do, probably we don't know much of the truth. Probably we don't know what the Bible says about a certain thing. So if we get the information, perhaps we would not mess up as much probably, right? So let me stop here. God bless you.